The Summer Film Camp at the Motion Picture Institute is a hands-on, very intensive, week-long workshop for young, aspiring filmmakers to come in, roll up their sleeves, and work together to make a short film by the end of the week. You get a group of people together who share the same passion and what you can create out of that passion, what stories you can create of that passion, really is so cool to watch. Hannah came up with like the main idea and then there was other writers that kind of contributed to like the individual flashbacks and stuff, but to link everything together it was kind of me and Hannah. The story is interesting because it pertains to something I think that happens to them in, in high school and that's bullying and, and not really knowing the face behind the face. And I really got touched by that because this is high school students, they came up with the story and it was so well done. I think it's because we tell writers, write what you know. And they know that whole story, the bullying thing. And they know how, how you know, the face that people put on in front of them isn't necessarily what's really going on at home or problems that they have at home. The story was a kid on his way to school finds a watch and he ends up losing it. And the watch goes around to different people. And every time someone opens the watch, they see a vision or what's going on in the last person who had it in their life. We wanted five different characters from like high school to kind of all see each other's lives and maybe because they think differently about them at first. And then once they see these other parts of their lives that aren't so great, then they can sympathize with them. And it's cool to see that character development. What's cool about this film is that you get to see all the different directors' visions and see what they're thinking of. Um, they get to kind of take their each, each of their own scenes and make it their own. Yeah, we have instructors here who are knowledgeable and you know we'll help them out, but really we, we give them an overview and then we let them go to work and they do their own thing and we're you know we're there to answer questions for them if they have a technical issue, but really it's we allow them to go for it. I mean they do it all. They write the story, they make the storyboards, they gather everything together. And really, the only thing we're here to do is, like I said, is answer questions or sometimes put the brakes on it if it starts to get too ambitious. Like, guys, we only got a week to film this, but I mean, we hate to do that too. I mean, I love to let them go and go for it. Working with these teachers is working with industry professionals. They are amazing at what they do. And the theme of it is, is even though they are so amazing at what they do, they don't take over. They're like, we're gonna be here and we're gonna guide you through it, but this is your movie. Go out and make it. It was actually quite nice to work in a group with people who were very accepting of everyone's ideas. It was good they taught us everything they needed to teach us and then trusted us that we could get it done on our own while they still supervised to make sure nothing went wrong. I really liked how they structured the story this time that allowed all the different directors to get a chance because you wonder, you have a short film, how, how is every director going to get involved? Well, with this film, they had flashbacks and that showed like the backstories of some of the characters, and so each director got to direct one of those. They made it so each kid who wanted to direct had a chance to direct, even if it wasn't a big part of the short, they at least got to direct something. We said, who wanted to direct this scene? Who wants to direct that scene? It just so worked out that everybody got to direct the scenes that they really wanted to direct. It was interesting to watch the different directors in action, how they handled the scene, what camera setups they would do. Basically, you know, there's people who have different views on directing, how they want to set up the shot, how they want the actors to carry out their lines, their parts. You know, they wanted to do their own thing, but they were also willing to bend a little bit to make it better for the entire project, not just their own you know, personal passion. The most important thing you can learn about on a film set is working with others. And you can come up with a much better story and a much better film collaborating with a group of talented people. Even though there's different directors, there's still that same way of filming and that made it work. I was so impressed that the team was so well put together and so well knowledgeable about all their departments that when we came in to edit, um, the process went extremely smooth. Like I was working with professionals all along. The editing process was really cool to see too because that was actually the first time I've ever sat and watched somebody else edit. I basically 
uh, had the uh, all their footage up on the big screen and we watched the footage and chose shots, you know, if it was take two or one. So basically once we got into the edit lab and we're looking at the footage, we realized that the last scene was more of a master shot. It was not enough to make it as powerful and dramatic as it needed to be. An interesting thing happened to us during the film camp. We were stitching the scene together and we noticed that there was a couple shots missing. Even when we were editing, we had to get one more shot done. If you just have one scene and it plays out um, without getting these close-ups, without getting these different angles that kind of give it a different dramatic effect, uh, it doesn't have that punch, that power. So literally while we were editing, they grabbed a camera, went out in the uh, parking lot, and shot the couple shots that they missed. Luckily, the day was kind of the same day. It was still sunny in the same time. So we, we, we went outside to get a couple of those shots. We figured out who we needed. Um, we had a couple directors out there and our script supervisor. It was actually kind of cool because at that point she, I think she caught like a continuity error. I've noticed like in other movies when things move in the background, I'm like, oh, that doesn't look right. So I mean, I had a lot of fun and I was able to pick up on some of the stuff like that moved and I like that job. Amelia was a great, great script supervisor. That thing would not have gotten edited if we didn't have her through the entire process. I feel like they definitely took the information that they learned literally in two days and brought it right to the set and had their A game for two days while they're shooting principal photography. And then when I sat down with them to edit on the fifth day, I, I mean, everything cut together like butter. I mean, after a week of being together and a week of, of writing and shooting and editing and getting this film together, this gives them the opportunity to say, yes, this is definitely something that I could see myself doing, and the possibilities are endless. I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I, I wish I would have had this opportunity when I was in that age group. This was a great time doing this. This was great people working together. It was a great set, great everything. We made something cool, and that's all that matters. Go for it! <laughs>